what could be more exciting on a Wednesday night than grabbing some friends and playing dodgeball? If that sounds like a good time, Cape Adult Sports League has you covered. Established in 2014, Cape Adult Sports League, also known as CASTLE, has over 1,400 participants and hosts a variety of activities, including dodgeball. I started uh, CASTLE, the Cape Adult Sports League, about five years ago. Uh, basically, it was like I first moved back to the Cape and I was trying to just get uh, like things to do and ways to meet people on the Cape and get active. And uh, the way I've always done through my entire life has always been through like sports and through activities. And so I'd go and you find that common interest where you play hockey, you play soccer, and then from there you end up uh, having that connection and then you become to build the friendships from there. So right now we do Monday nights, we do soccer, Wednesday night we do dodgeball, and then come summertime we do that as kickball. And then we do floor hockey on Fridays, we do uh, flag football on Sundays. And then we try and do like some cornhole activities and some just straight social events. Not just straight athletics for it, we try and be more social. We have all different skill levels that play for it, so we try and have everyone involved and just have a great time and meet new people and new friends. It can be difficult finding activities to stay productive during the winter months on Cape Cod. Castle is one alternative, which participants are saying keeps them active while having fun and building friendships. Needed a you know, little something uh uh, something fun to do, something to give, my, you know, give myself something to uh, look forward to each week. And it's just a great way to uh, meet some of the year-round local residents down here. I think it's just a great night to get out and have some fun and meet wonderful new people. Uh, I work a lot, so this is like my fun night, is to come out and hang out and play different sports. Uh, during the winter, uh, living in East Ham, uh, it's very slow and it's nice to get out on a Wednesday night and see people and, and enjoy our time playing, having fun and getting exercise as well. Over the years, some players have met their significant others, close friends and employees through these gatherings. I will actually have an employee that now works for me that I got from Castle. I've made so many friends. We've gone and done different things. We hang out like after, but like sometimes during the week or the weekends, we'll get together, we'll do things, we'll go bowling, we'll go to a park, we'll hang out, we'll have a fire. Like, it's just awesome. I think we just had our 12th wedding that actually took place over the past year. So five years, we've had uh, 12 weddings, and I think there's three or four kids that we're at right now for it. So it's a pretty solid amount of numbers for it. And my thing is, like, it's a good way to, like, meet people instead of, like, uh, you have a lot of the interactions where you go and you just interview with people or you try, and, uh, you try and meet people through networking. And I think with that, it's more like what you do instead of what you're actually, like, interested in. So with this, you actually build it and you're like, all right, so I like the sports, I like the activities, and you really meet the connection from that. And then you have that true, like, personal connection with the person and you find out what they do. And then the true friendships actually blossom out of that, which I like. The league hosts events and trips outside of sports with the intention of expanding social circles and building a positive community. This also helps local restaurants stay busy during the off season. Like we partner with a lot of the social, um, with a lot of the pubs and restaurants that are around the area for it. So we have like Bunsy's, the Cleeton Anchor, uh, Sea Dog's been one for it. Um, we have the den, which just started up locally for it. So it's trying to get a lot of the businesses there during the winter time. They're usually a little bit slower. And like a Wednesday night is a slower night for them. So we'll bring in 67 people. So it's good and gets people active. And, uh, and they'll put out some free food and get us all together for it and go from there. For more information about Cape Adult Sports League, visit sports.capecodchatter.com or visit them on Facebook. In South Dennis, for Cape Media News, I'm Emily Tulloch.